How's it going guys? Uh, yeah, man tears. That's the best way to describe it. I'm, uh, was it just an hour ago I saw Furious 7 and god damn it, I cried. I cried bad. There were some tears. There were some man tears. Yeah, I'll talk about in the review, but yeah, and I went into fucking, where is it? Why do I have to be so rude when I said it? Future Shop slash Best Buy. It's Future Shop and Best Buy have a crossover deal. And what that means is now you go into a Future Shop building and are berated by people in blue polo shirts trying to help you. I guess that's a Best Buy thing is that they're constantly, every employee has to come up to you at least once and ask if you need help. Cause yeah, that's what they do in their blue polo shirts. I don't know if they don't trust you or they're just friendly like that, but yeah, I prefer the Future Shop just don't, just don't ask. But anyway, what I pick up, let's do it quick because I'm in a parking lot in the city People are looking at me, judging me, and uh, I don't like it. So we got Finding Nemo. No slip cover because I'm a failure. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, the last one. And it comes with $7 off a Furious 7 ticket. I could have used that two, three hours ago. But maybe I'll go again. Who knows? I'll see it again for sure. But yeah, Tokyo Drift. Now I own all of them except 7. And they had a couple Future Shop exclusive steelbooks. So American Werewolf in London. And uh, yeah, the best werewolf movie ever, super bad, because I realized I didn't own it, I saw I was like, yeah, I should own that. And I got Interstellar, and it comes with a IMAX 70 f film cell from an actual 70 millimeter film print. Hopefully it's a good one. Yeah, hopefully these are all good. Uh, hopefully they are all good. What am I talking about? I don't know. And then I went to Sport Check. And uh, I came here with a little bit of money, and I tried to spend, I almost spent, I spent a whole hundred dollars on these because, yeah. Basically what happened is I needed punching gloves, box, I always call them punching gloves. It's a punching bag that you use boxing gloves on, and basically, don't look at me. Uh, our gym, we had a punching bag when I first got the membership and stuff, and it was like ratted out. I kicked it a couple times and like I never really I was like oh I might use that eventually then a couple weeks later I was taken down and they got a new one now I'm like oh, I've been watching Rocky a lot and uh, the Rocky soundtracks everything I'm gonna get some boxing gloves and I'm gonna go to town on that thing so I look forward to that even though I didn't buy hand wraps because uh, I don't know I'd like to think boxing gloves make you a little bit stronger MMA gloves like UFC gloves maybe you need hand wraps boxing you probably do need them for boxing gloves, but I'm going to be a big man. Future Buy or Best Shop. The Future Shop Future Shop Best Buy crossover deal. It, it What it is, it's the Red Dawn. The Future Shop's been run over by people in blue polo shirts trying to help you out too much. And I have to go liberate them with a machine gun. I don't know. Maybe Patrick Swayze could help. And Charlie Sheen. But yeah, so if I, uh, if I were to recommend anything to you, go if you're brave. But yeah, you're going to be harassed. You're going to be harangued. The blue polo shirt strike back but i was gonna film in there i really i was like should i bring the gopro in and then i was like uh no my man tears are still a little my eyes are still a little wet from watching furious 7 so i don't want to but i there was nothing to film there was no real good deals i saw they had the hobbit blu-ray trilogy and i thought about it i was like i, I next time i think i'll get that because rather i just bought the first one but what I'll do, I guess, is watch the first one, which I still haven't seen, rewatch the second, and uh, and if I feel frisky, I'll just buy the whole trilogy and get rid of the first two, trade them in or something. I'm being snuck up on. And Yeah, I am. I am. My sister's a butcher. I didn't lock the door! Walk me out. It's the person that doesn't talk, and I don't know if she's in the angle anymore. That's a shame. Because I have the window mount. I'm trying to wrap this up. Sorry. For you. Ah! Okay, I'm not actually about to hit anything, but I'm filming this, and I don't know how much of this footage ends up. It's just sometimes when I drive in the city, I get panicked. I get, I get snippy with people. I yell at them, and uh, we're gonna see how that goes. I'm also driving with no hands. Respect it. And uh, I got go. Kucha Green, as I say. I admit, every time I've been in the city lately, I come up to a yellow light, and as long as no one's in front of me, I just scream Kucha Green, and I punch it, and I go for it. And that's a reference to the creatures on YouTube, because that's pretty much it's 
Yellow is a Kucha green because there's a guy named Kucha. It's a, if you know what it is, you know. If you don't, you know. I've also been to McDonald's twice in two weeks because I came here last week to see Insurgent late, but I saw it and I went to McDonald's and then I came here again and went to McDonald's because it's, it's a monumentous thing. You're in the city, you don't get to come often. Why not eat like an asshole? But for supper today, I'm not doing that. Today, I am dropping my food. Today I'm eating Luna Bars, s'mores and white chocolate macadamia flavor because that sounds yummy. Luna Bars, I think it's protein. If it's just chocolate bars, then the joke's on me, but I'm pretty sure it's protein bars. It was in Sport Check. Uh, 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 what are you doing? Jeff, uh, uh, Goldblum says, uh, uh, get, get out of my way. There is a, uh, T-Rex, must go faster, must go faster, 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 blah, 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 blah. and then he just, his head blows up. He needs a cameo in Jurassic World. Back from the brink of death, I brought this video back. Why? Because it was lame. So I'm gonna find something funny to do in this video. I'll hit a, I'll hit a pedestrian right now. That guy crossing the street in his fucking green shoes. You're dead. There's no one there, actually. I'm making people up. <laughs> Shut your whore mouth. Anyway, I'm an asshole, and uh, I deserve to pay for my sins. Did I forget my fucking water bottle in the uh, theater? Did I? No. Did I, Kayla? I actually think I did. I'm not sure. I don't remember if I carried it out or not. I just sent my sister into Tim Hortons, and I was right. I did have a water bottle. Shit. Straight out of Compton. Thanks yeah. for my stuff. Here, have a bite I of my Luna bite. bar. I'll Which one? Mm -hmm. ah, come in my mouth. And by that I mean come <laughs> to my mouth. <laughs> I'm putting this whole town in my rear view, Dougie. Except it was Doug who said it. It was Doug McCray. Ben Affleck. Oh, Coochie Green. I'm a risk taker, mother Okay, yeah. Th that was loud. I'm gonna double check if the oil change place is open. It's fine. Okay. But you have this discussion. <clears throat> okay, so I freaked out, I panicked, I did some wild erratic or erotic driving, depending on who you are and who you ask. But yeah, hopefully this video has become more entertaining, at least through the magic of editing. I don't know. But comment below, tell me you thought of the movies I picked up at the beginning of the fucking video and the nonsense that came afterwards. Some of you like my nonsense apparently. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I'm on what's that? 400. 400 people. That guy just drove weird. That was me. That was me fault. Me house. What? Ooh, ah, oh. All right, I need to wrap this up before I crash. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I love you. Maybe not. Maybe.